today I'll show you how to create a basic studio lighting setup uh, using 3ds Max and V-Ray. So uh, looking at this image, uh, something like this is uh, basically what you would expect to have as a setup to make a studio. Your model at the center, then three key lights surrounding it for a perfectly lit setup. So uh, let's go to our scene. This here's the scene we are going to use. First things first, let's work on the camera settings. ISO 100, shutter speed 50. Basically the standard for interior renders. Color and exposure, white, balance, neutral. Let's add the first V-Ray light. Name the light uh, primary light. The units assign radiant power, watts, and, uh, and the mode temperature. We will want to work with an override material. In order to do this, let's go to the render setup or F10. And uh, global switches, we will assign uh, override material. Begin interactive rendering. It's important to work with one light at a time. Primary light under the multiplier, uh, 250 watts. Probably let's bump it up to 500. That looks okay. I'm happy with the result. Now we will focus on our second light to illuminate the shadows cast by the primary light. Name it secondary light. Start interactive rendering. Don't forget under units, radiant, power, watts. Remember this light must be subtle 
A multiplier of 30 is enough. And also remember mode temperature. So in order to obtain the correct balance, only have the shadows cast by the primary light. So let's create more contrast by assigning a cold light to the secondary light under the temperature slot. This we achieve by slightly increasing the values in the temperature slot. Let's take it to 7800 Kelvin. Let's create a pleasant contrast by adding another light. We will call it fill light. We will give it a warm light by giving it a lower value down to 3800 Kelvin. That should do. Begin interactive rendering. happy with the result now let's switch on all the three lights and render uh, so remember lighting is a very important stage in production and only after we have it right can you proceed to add materials Okay, so remove the override in the render setup. Let's see how it looks. I'm happy with the result. In today's video, we've learned how to create a basic studio lighting setup in 3ds Max and V-Ray. As always, please thumbs up the video, it really helps. Do subscribe and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or suggestions or which areas you need uh, clarification on.